Hello there, it's down here. I'm in the shed back again, trying to sort out another bit of area of the plot where uh, I had the brassicas and obviously my blackberries that I've got here. As you can see, how big they've got. Massive. So I need to prune them back, tie them back, all in preparation for the season upcoming. Uh, probably prune back this uh, just a berry which is a cross between black currant and a gooseberry. Uh, I wish in a way it wasn't there, but it's massive now. I could cut it right back uh, as I did with the, the black currant and the red currant over there. But it'll just be another, another year. Uh, I'm trying to get it as tall as I can. But you never know, day when you put things in spaces, how, how big they're going to get. I thought this would be like a little small thing, like a, a blackberry, a black currant, but no, no, it's massive. Uh, these that I planted the year before have got massive, so they need tie back. Uh, apart from that, yeah, it just needs a good tidy up. So I'll uh, get that sorted, come back. Uh, there's no right or wrong for pruning when it comes to like the the black berries that I've found uh, and just tie them up. They just shoot away anyway where they get cut. So no worries. Don't worry if you've got one and you don't know uh, where to cut. Just tidy them up. That's what you need to do. Anyway, back in a sec. Once I get this all sorted and tidied, I wish I had some, uh, some more uh, wood chip. Like I've told people in the past I normally get this down by September and let it rot from September up until uh, April time but uh, unfortunately the council sells it now because we just get free off them but yeah I need to sort that out because I would just uh, tidy this all up and cover the beds again because as you can see you know that looks like so but that's rotted down wood chip and it's uh, it's quite excess probably anyway back in a sec once it's sorted. Right, so it took us an hour there. Uh, like I said, I'll let it get the wood chip down. Uh, there's a lot of leaves and uh, narcissum, I think that's what you call it. I might have said that wrong anyway. You know, the orange flowers, there's all of that down there. So, see, it's ages to start pulling it out everywhere, but I'll just leave it, it'll be all right. I've got all like organic matter just on there. I'll just let it rot down. And like I said, I'll have to organize some wood chip because uh, normally this look a bit more tidier so I haven't cut back the uh, the apple tree this was meant to be a cooking apple but it ain't uh, I think it's a uh, orange pippin I'm sure it is anyway I'm not going to cut it back because this is the second year it's been in so I don't want to shock it too much I had, had a few fruit last year but uh, so I'll just leave it Anyway, I've cut back, as you can see, quite drastically, obviously you've got all the side shoots, but on the side shoots it's like, obviously little buds coming through, so I've just cut them back, tidy it up. This one here, this is meant to be a red gooseberry, last year it got a bit of a fungus, so I'm not sure whether to take it out or leave it, uh, give another chance where it just, just caught something, and it should be alright. You trim them back, prune it so it's quite open in the center, uh, so it's not densed, it's densed, not too dense, I should say. Uh, but yeah, see, it's just been cut back with the black berries. See, the, these type of blackberries is completely different to this blackberry that I bought. This is the quite the big, huge, large, big ones, the big, massive ones, you know, that you buy, and these are the typical ones that you get you got in the wild. So normally this one, when you get the new growth that comes off here, uh, that's the new uh, where the fruit goes on and then you've got the old, which is that one there. That, that'll be last year's, dies back, cut that back, but I think these these are different. These must be like, no matter where it grows off, it comes back on the same branch. So these are like the typical ones that you get in the wild. But yeah, just tidy it up. Yeah, I've got comfy in the corner there, tied up a bit. Uh, just give it a quick rake over. But like I say, normally this would be totally tidied up. 
and covered in wood chip which makes it easier there's a couple of weeds i've just pulled them up uh, but yeah that's it thank god just done another little part that you keep walking past and it looks a mess i am actually thinking about putting uh, a permanent brassica cage right here because uh, it, it gets the sun but it gets the shade at the same time so it's probably ideal brassicas uh, right next to the chicken coop a bit more protection uh, I had bought some wood for a project in the house but it never happened so I'm quite I am thinking about putting it here right here so a permanent one that I can walk into so I don't have to keep putting the the builder scaffolding uh, mesh away every year so maybe that'll be a future thing we we'll just have to see how much time I get but yeah I'm quite happy I got that tidied up uh, like I says when I did that video about the reality of having a plot sometimes you know I was trying to find time like you know like that on top on top of the chicken coop sort of like blown the last couple of years you can sort that out uh, all the branches that I cut back from the black berries are all gone in here again because I'm keeping all this because once I cut this down it's four deep, I'm going to cut in half and then this will be uh, another bed which will be going into this uh, makeshift uh, polytone greenhouse whatever you want to call it uh, once I get that sorted but this wind has just blown everything anyway, thanks for watching bye from me, see you later I'm in the shed, bye